Hi everybody, how we doing? Uh, it's me again, Michael. It's not cooking on cedar, it's not moving with Michael, it's not story time with Michael, and it's not house chores 101 today. Today, we're gonna do a little wreck and leisure, and I'm gonna show you guys on how to tie your own fishing flies. Because I really love fishing, and I started doing this about two years ago, and I haven't, um, done it in a while so I thought you know what I'm gonna show you guys on do a little demonstration on how to tie your own flies so in here it's the it's called a kale hook it's got a really big hook on the inside there of the holding device that's holding it and then I have a bobbin with some thread in there uh, I'm gonna attempt to move in on the needle Give me some time here. Okay, and I'll even, wonder if I can do that. Yep, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take my thread first and I have to start at the very top and wind that around. Oop, I gotta, and this is kind of a tough part for me. Because you got to catch that end of it. So then it'll stay. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to wind this about, well, I'm going to go. darn near to the curve of the hook. So this, the base of it is covered. All right, and then with this excess string, I'm gonna cut that off, because we're not gonna need that. Then I'm going to go back up to the top and I'm not going to go as tight together. So I'm there at the top again of it. And then I'm going to take part of a blue feather and I'm going to pull as much of it as I can off. And then when I pull that off, I'm going to trim some of it to get that off of there. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this end of it and I'm going to go past this end because I will I'm going to cut off the excess after a little while so and then we start and we loop around the feather to tighten that up and we just keep on looping three four five times around there. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just gonna trim off the excess feather that I have. So then we can see the eyelet of the hook. I'm maybe gonna slide it down a little bit. Okay, 
So there we have some blue on there. And then I'm even going to get a little fancier. I'm going to take some red feather on there and put it with the blue to kind of spruce that up, um, spruce that hook up a little bit and entice those fish a little bit more. Um, and there's, if you guys ever go into like a bait shop or something like that, they have a ton of um, different colored hooks. And I actually, I call this a flu flu hook or a flu flu. Um, I'm not really sure why, but just because of the little feathers on there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of lay this on top of the blue and I'm going to try to get even with the eyelet up on top and then I'm going to keep on just winding around there and snug that up so there's two three four five six and see the blue and the red on there looks pretty doesn't it I really enjoy this because I can you can create your own colors your own color scheme and whatnot um, and what I'll use these for is I'm gonna use these for um, like panfish so your sunfish and crappies um, and even some I bet even some bass will come up and bite these because they're really, really enticed by it. You know what? Should we even go a step further and do red, white, and do a little white in there? So we have red, white, and blue. What do you think? Yeah? All right, let's do it. I'm getting a little crazy here today on this Wednesday afternoon. So I'm going to just take just a little bit of white. And I'm actually going to, well, I'll keep it, I'll keep it together for, for now. And then I will cut the excess off in a little bit. So. I'm going to try to go on your side of it and hold that there and go around, snug it. There's two, three, four, five, I'll even go. There's feathers flying all over the place. The wind's picking up a little bit. So, what I'm gonna do now is trim off that excess red, or white, I mean, sorry. Okay, so then now, to finish it off, I'm gonna wind this up to the top so everything just kind of gets a little bit more snug in place. Uh, I gotta go back. And this, this does take a little time to get these, to get these down. And these, the one that I'm even doing right now is by no means perfect, you guys, um, but it'll work. I just have to 
kind of cinch things up a little bit here. And like I said, there is tons of different, different feather colors that I use um, to do this. And so I do different combinations of all different kinds of, cause of feathers and colors because I don't know what the fish are feeling that day. And so sometimes I'll sit there and I'll switch them out right on the dock and I'll, um, if they're not biting on one, like this last weekend, I had an all green one, like I had a green tip and then just green feathers and even green, um, the string on there and those fish did not want that at all and then I I switched it to like a, a pink and a white one and they bit like crazy so it's it's kind of all what they choose to do okay so here's a little um, the tough deal for tough part for me so what I'm gonna do is you have to then tie it off to do like a knot on there. And I'm gonna see if I can do this. Like I said, it's been a while. Then pulling that through, there we go. Okay, so I take my two fingers and I wrap that around. And then take my two fingers and put it over the hook so that the line is over that and I gently pull and I got to move my fingers out of the way and that sometimes is not the easiest task for me so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this like two or three more times just to secure it Because that essentially um, is like a knot, and I just got to pull it, snug it tight, and I'm going to actually do one more just to do it. And if you guys are really interested in doing this, there we go. Perfect. Um, I could even bring all this stuff in and do a live demo on it. So last but not least, well, I gotta, I'm gonna cut this off. And then I have fly head cement that this stuff is pretty, pretty good stuff. And I have a little, like a little dabber thing. And I'm gonna take this and just kinda go in the cement. And I'm gonna go over. The little string and the feathers and that will hold the feathers and the string together for a short time. I uh, The first ones that I've made of these, I, I still have, I use my own or whatever, but um, some of them have come apart. And like I said before earlier in the video that it's it's all about practicing on this and kind of just mastering your craft and you know life gets busy and we just don't have all a ton of time to master our craft and do all the stuff that we would like so this is one of the things that I really enjoy doing it's just kind of 
it's calming for me and it's just it's a fun time fun thing to do so this is done I'm gonna actually I'm gonna take it out of the clamp loosen that up and there it is so now I can go out go fishing and hopefully catch some fish with this and yeah I'm going to let you guys go here and um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little demo I I really enjoyed this um, showing you guys on how to do this stuff but yeah that's what I use I use I use um, they're called kale hooks feathers um, and then I used uh, what did I use the gold gold on there and yeah so that's that's my demo for you guys little wreck and leisure and you know if you guys have access to this stuff um, it is it's it's pretty fun to do but it does take a little time to time to uh, do it and to master it so that's mine for today so hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh we'll chat with you guys later have a great day and always remember be kind and go catch a lot of fish <laughs>